Hello everyone, my name is Krepler, and welcome to Space Flight Simulator. I've been playing this game on and off on my tablet for a good couple uh, months now, and I really enjoyed it. So I decided, let's get the PC version, and why not just record a video on it? And even on top of that, let's install pretty much every mod I could find. It's not every mod, it's actually a fairly, fairly tame amount of mods. But I did install mods, and this is a custom solar system, and there's custom parts. I would put the, 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 I put the mods in the description, but I don't remember what mods I got. Anyway, this is a new series, it's not Minecraft, but if you, if any of you guys know me, I love space, you, you probably couldn't probably couldn't tell, you know, I, I, it's not like I made three different Minecraft space movies on this channel. Wait, three, no, two different Minecraft space movies on this channel. So, I have decided, let's play this game. And I'm going to try to be playing it and following the basic progression of real life space stuff. So we're going to start off by going for low earth orbit and then higher earth orbit. And also, I'm not going to delete any crafts, so that'll be fun to see. Anyway, let's go build a rocket. And now I hand over this video to pass me. And now, I believe we are ready to ignite these engines and take this rocket into the sky. So, let's launch in 3, 2, 1. A beautiful takeoff here at the Krepler uh, launch station. Uh, I, I have no idea. This is not scripted at all whatsoever. I am doing this completely live. Um, so, our Atlas, what was it, 5B? Yeah, that sounds about right. Is lifting off here. And we're gonna go for a gravity turn right about now. My first time flying this rocket. It's never actually flown ever before. See, we're going for a nice little lift off here this first stage is powered by one uh, I don't remember what this I don't know any of the engines we have two of those really small engines and one um, of the Atlas engines from the actual pack the actual Atlas rocket pack thing and as our fuel in this stage runs low we prep ourselves to take off with the second stage. Oh. Shoot. Um. Hold on. Well, if you couldn't tell there, we uh, accidentally ignited our uh, second stage before um, igniting any other stages. So, this is not good. This is solid rocket. I'm just deploy the satellite already. Okay. And now we have a fairing stuck to us. Wonderful. <laughs> this is wonderful. This is how the first flight always goes. We're stuck up here with a fairing on us. I delete it, but I've kind of made my own little personal rule not to delete anything. But let's see what our trajectory is. Oh. <laughs> oh my. That is high. It's not that high, but it is high for a low earth orbit. <laughs> not, this is not what I was trying to go for. But I guess um, we should go back into the vehicle assembly bay and, well, make edits. And now we interrupt your regular scheduled programming to show you the advancements that Krepler Aerospace has made in rocketry technology. Three, two, one. And now we come to our final and most successful attempt to launch a rocket into Earth orbit on this lovely February morning 
you can see, we kind of messed up the staging, <laughs> forgetting to ignite the boosters. But, a interesting thing happened here. I thought that this rocket was simply just going to fall back down to the ground, but it didn't. No, it had enough thrust to hoist itself off the ground, and even though the tower was scraping against the edge and hit the engine for a second there, it shot itself up and into the atmosphere. Now I'm going to speed up the footage so you don't have to watch me lazily fly a rocket all the way into space. And we made it all the way up to second stage separation, and that is where I'm going to leave you guys with past me to give some live commentary on what is currently occurring. And I believe second stage, no, third stage separation is now. Here we are. And past me, go. All right. And now that's hit solid rocket booster, detach fairing, and keep ourselves on a steady course and not overshoot the orbit. So we overshot a bit. But I think it's okay. Because we are in orbit. <laughs> I'm just going to delete that because I want to deploy this. Actually, hold on. And more in orbit. Now. Here is where some things that I want to do in this series come in. I, I know I just deleted that fairing, but any free floating junk, I am not going to delete. I'm going to call it debris. And I'm going to leave all flea, fr flea, all free flying junk is being left in orbit. Unless it ever falls back down to the planet or into the atmosphere, that is the only time I will delete it if it manages to make it to the surface. But any other time, if it's in orbit, I'm not deleting it. The only way I can delete a craft is by re-entering it into the atmosphere. But, you might have saw some fairings. If they get snagged on something on the actual satellite, I might delete it. Uh, you guys can tell me your opinions on whether I should delete things that get snagged on satellites or not. Tell me it down in the comments. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button. Have to put that in for YouTuber credit. It's on the YouTuber bingo sheet. Mark that off. And, well, yeah. I've managed to get my first satellite in orbit. It may be a very elongated orbit. But I'm going to enjoy this nice ambient music and uh, sit back, relax, sit back, relax, and watch as my rocket, well, not rocket, as my satellite, flies through space. And in the great words of Scott Manley, safe flying. At, wait, no, it's fly safe. Fly safe.